All right, welcome back to another video on my channel. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Abiola Alwasomi. And for those that have been watching my videos before, sorry, I had to take, uh, I've been busy with something, so I had to like take a break. But now I'm back and I'm going to be uploading new videos starting from today. So the video I wanted to make, uh, it's uh, for those who are having problems seeing their gig in the fiber star changing. So it, I know many people have this problem after creating their gig, they search their gig and they can't seem to find it anywhere in the fiber search engine. And if you, your gig is not active, then it means you won't be able to get any sales because it's not active. You understand? So in fact, this is what you should do after creating a gig. You should always try to know your gig status, whether it's active or whether it's pending. So that, that's the thing you need to, to know. So if you're having this problem, this is the solution. So all you need to do is go to this uh, URL, fiverr.com slash support ticket slash new slash gig, blah, blah, blah. You understand? So I'll put the link in the description so you can go click on the link and then you'll be here. So if you are logged into your account, this is what you will see. You tell you to submit a request and you can, there's another link. It's the same link, but uh, different URL. So I'll put the two links in the description. So any of the two, you should be able to contact support. Then you need to first know the status first before you contact them. So this helps. Sometimes some, your gig might be active, but maybe it's right there at the back, you know, and then you're finding you can see it. So always try to know your gig status before you contact support. So this is the URL they provided, and this is the URL you should always visit after creating a gig. In fact, even your old gigs, you can always try, come here, know the position, the status of the gig, and then if it's not active, contact support, and then you they will rectify it for you. So if you go to this link, then it will tell you to submit a request, and then what can we help you with? Of course, it will be gig. There are other options, but we are dealing with gig right now. So what is the issue with your gig? Then my gig doesn't appear in search. And now it will tell you to locate your gig. Then all you need to do is click on the link. And then if it's active, it will tell you your gig status is active. And then if it's active, that means you are good. You are good. If it's tell you pending or not active or anything besides active, then it means it's not active and the people won't be able to find it in search, which means you won't be able to make sales. I have so many people who have gigs that are not active and then they continue to lament, continue to complain, they are not making sales. It's because the gig is not active. So you need to always know your gig status every time. So once it's not active, then it will tell you your gig is not active and it's not cannot be located in the search marketplace so all you need to do is now contact support so all you need to do is click on this link it tells you uh when you click on this link then it will take you to the page then it will give you it will add the link for you and now you can now contact support they'll just tell them whatever whatever i can locate my gig in the search and then put the url of the link and then click submit and then at times within 24 hours to 48 hours they will get back to you and then they will look look at the look at the gig and then they will rectify it and then get back to you that's all you need to do the same thing if you go to this url it's still the same thing select your gig then it's active it's not active so and you click on this link and contact support they will rectify it for you within 24 hours or 48 hours if it's weekend then it's probably going to be on a monday or on a tuesday so usually it's between 24 hours to 48 hours and if you're lucky you will before uh, 24 hours so that's all you need to do once you've done that then they will get back to you they will now tell you to search again then you can now come back to this same url and then click on this link again search and then you use that to search. If you have as many gigs as, if, um, no matter the number of gigs that you have, you can search them one by one. And then if they are all active, it means you are good to go. And then you, you'll be fine. So that's the end of this video. It's nothing much. Just I need to search, know your gig status, and then 
contact support and then you'll be fine. So I'll probably create a video for those who are new to Fiverr on how to make money on Fiverr. And then I'll create so many other videos on Fiverr, uh, maybe this week. So you, sh you guys should watch out for that video. So if this video is helpful, please give me a thumbs up and please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my video and just to encourage me to create more and more videos. I hope you like this video. Thank you and bye-bye.